loading on my uh, display case. Now that's fully loaded. There's stuff on the back that I wish I could show you and drawers full of stuff. I'm so sorry I can't show you that. Old Kenner uh, plush there and that's an empty jolt bottle from Desert Storm. There's my Battle Troll collection. Let's get in. This is my newest one. And this is the one from childhood, the Terminator one, which is really cool. This is loaded. Maybe, you know, on a different channel or when I got some time, I'll do an individual troll and show you all those. But this, you gotta keep moving. More action figures there. Um, some Earthworm Jim figures. Down DC. That was in my last video. Nothing's really changed behind there. Got some arcade sticks. Um, Dreamcast, Xbox 360, and PS3 arcade sticks, and some cassette tapes. Speaker move up. And these are this fully loaded with different vinyl, recorded a cassette, and other cassettes. And my record player. So it's kind of dark. CD player, dual tape player, then down, I enjoy music, my Wii. I play all my new games in the living room. There's the PS3. Uh, of course, you guys have seen up into the Dreamcast caddy. PS3 move. And then behind, we got the Sega Saturn. Because I have to have a Sega Saturn and Dreamcast. And, you know, no brainer. 360. PS2, even though there's stacks of stuff on top of it. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I love them. Got some of my albums there. Uh, that film, you know, just some turtle stuff. One of my pride and joys, my Speed Rumble arcade cabinet. I love this thing. And it's going to be a pain to move when we get ready to move here soon, but. Always hard to pick where to start. Let's start panning through the Xbox titles. Down to this is pretty much last gen GameCube titles. Some PS1 titles and drawers under there. Or basket. And then you'll move up your PS2 titles. And then over here's a PS1 box console. Some games I'm kinda like display in there change them up and then some over in the corner some complete games get some better lighting for you guys so you can see so that kind of goes you know down and then you got some turtle tapes that I picked up the complete NES games and <coughs> complete on uh, super games and one 64 game I have other boxed ones but um, so this is a work in progress. I don't really have a lot of time to work on the whole game room as much anymore Unfortunately, but I worked on it all day yesterday and kind of the fruits of my labor I had a bed in here and I got rid of it So I'll show you the update All right, then down we got some 2600 games 32x games and softbox Genesis games And I kind of just wanted to mix it up and do something a little bit different You know, just make it look kind of cool. Yeah. Outer shot. And then I got some of my favorite uh, Japanese Saturn games. Just played like that. That I like to play. Let's see if I can get some light. King of Fighters, House of the Dead, X Men vs. Street Fighter, Knights, Panzer Dragoon 1 and 2. Sonic Jam, Saturn Bomberman, Capcom Generations, King of Fighters, uh, Vampire Savior, Super Tempo, Fighters Mega Mix, and uh, another Fatal Fury game. So, that's pretty cool. 
really enjoy that. And that dented thing right there, a bunch of Game Boy games. But still not as many as a lot of you guys. I don't play a lot of hand. Over titles. here I got some suit or uh, 64 titles. Go down. And then some Genesis titles. Moving up, some VHS, some Action Max games. Then moving up, some Genesis titles. And some loose uh, Master System titles. Some cards. And into the closet. Uh, boxes. And some of the stuff has stuff in it. Down here, I got some more Sega Saturn games in those two little drawers. And a bunch of Turbo games. Into that drawers, controllers, 64 box games, uh, NES games in those drawers, NES games in this drawer. Kind of have an overspill of NES right now, so NES right there. Got some Super NES. Get a light in there for you. Just a bunch of Super NES titles. And there I got my manuals, the games like I don't have just the manual for, not the box, are right there. And some PSP titles. There's more PSP and DS titles down below. Uh, some systems, the TV, some more systems, some posters, Yoshi. Some more Genesis titles. An arcade stick, some more systems, uh, and master system games. Usually my N-Gage games are on top of that, but I have them in my bedroom right now. Uh, an old TV, a Darth Vader console, and a smoke, it's a nasty habit. Um, you can't see really back behind there, but I got like three bongos right now for the GameCube, another GameCube. Some new gen titles. And Sega CD games. Then up, uh, got some Mortal Kombat stuff. And a uh, Dreamcast Mission Stick, Rocking Cats. Some more stuff. It's really everywhere, you know? I got some US Sega Saturn games right here. It's kind of like neck and neck on the imports and US games I have. Then I have the home cases right there from Cover Project. Because some games get expensive on the Saturn. Even just the disc will cost you a little bit. Half-Life for Dreamcast. Strategy Guide and Game. So, that is... In a nutshell, it. we could go on forever and get into the details. I just kind of want to show you how it's set up right now. Got the game banana chair that sucks. Um, my favorite place to be. I got a lot of loose Famicom 32X, loose cartridges and loose games and those uh, binders. There's a bunch right there. And maybe, you know, when I have somebody to help me film, we can do more in full depth of the collection and go through them. We're doing one at a time here on the show. So I just kind of want to show you an overview of what I've been doing on this thing.